Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel as we kick off our Italian adventure with a visit to the magical city of Venice. Today we're diving into the rich history and stunning architecture of this iconic destination. Our itinerary includes navigating from the airport using a water taxi, followed by our tour of the breathtaking St. Mark's Basilica, and an exploration of the historic Doge's Palace, including a glimpse into its intriguing jail. So let's embark on this journey together and immerse ourselves in the beauty of Venice. Now let's talk about the logistics of getting from the airport to Venice. Upon arrival, you'll find several transportation options available, including private boats and taxis. However, for a budget-friendly choice, with a touch of Venetian charm, we opted for the water taxi. Keep in mind that while this option may take a few minutes longer due to multiple stops, it offers a scenic and memorable way to arrive in the city. Next, it's time to purchase tickets for the water taxi. You can easily acquire them at the ticket counter or through an automated machine available at the terminal. With tickets in hand, proceed to the water taxi dock. It's just a short walk away from the terminal. Here you'll board the taxi boat and set off on your journey through Venice's enchanting canals. And don't worry about the long wait times Water taxis typically operate regularly, ensuring a smooth and efficient transfer to the city center. Okay, this is our cute little uh, apartment in Venice. So we got a little kitchenette, a tiny fridge inside the cabinet there. Then we have like a little dining room table. And uh, there is a bed right here with two very tired people. And so a nice couch bed there. Some lovely drapes. Check out the ceiling. Ooh ah ooh, fancy pantsy. We can come back in here, and here is the bathroom. If I can find the switch. There. So the bathroom is pretty nice and totally redone. So we got the, the nice shower and uh, the toilet and nice, nicely redone. Okay, so then over here on the right here, there's another bedroom with two beds. Well, it looks like a day bed with a trundle. And then the master bed with a king size bed in here. So pretty, pretty fancy. Kind of a fun little uh, hotel. Right in the heart of Venice. St. Mark's Basilica, also known as the Basilica de San Marco, is a significant symbol of Venice's rich cultural heritage and religious importance. 
It was built back in the 9th century and is considered one of the finest examples of Byzantine architecture. Step inside and you'll be blown away by the breathtaking mosaics. These intricate artworks depict scenes from the Bible, showcasing the incredible skills of the artisans who crafted them. Fun fact, the basilica houses over 8,000 square meters of mosaics, covering both the walls and the ceilings. Another highlight is the Palo do Oro, a stunning altarpiece covered in thousands of precious gems and delicate enamel work. It's a true testament to the opulence of Venice during the Byzantine era. As we explore further, take a moment to appreciate the grand architecture. The domes, arches, and marble columns create a sense of majesty that transports you back to Venice's Golden Age. Did you know beneath the main altar lies the sacred resting place of Saint Mark the Evangelist? Legend has it that in the 9th century, two Venetian merchants smuggled the saint's remains out of Alexandria, Egypt, where he was martyred. Hiding his remains, they laid him under layers of pork and cabbage leaves to evade detection. The arrival of St. Mark's relics in Venice marked the beginning of the city's rise in prominence as a major religious center. The four horses that adorn St. Mark's Basilica in Venice are famous bronze sculptures known as the Quadro of St. Mark, or the Horses of St. Mark. These magnificent sculptures are believed to take back to the 4th century BC likely originating from ancient Greece. However, they were later acquired by the Roman Empire and eventually made their way to Constantinople. In 1204, during the Fourth Crusade, the Venetian Republic seized the horses from Constantinople and brought them back to Venice as spoils of war. They were then placed on the facade of St. Mark's Basilica as a symbol of Venice's power and wealth. The four horses are symbolic representations of victory, power, and prestige. Today, the original horses are preserved inside the Basilica Museum, while replicas are displayed on the exterior balcony of St. Mark's Basilica to protect them from weathering and deterioration. The presence of these magnificent sculptures at St. Mark's Basilica serves as a reminder of Venice's historical significance as a maritime empire and its enduring legacy as a cultural and artistic center. Outside the basilica's facade is adorned with sculptures, mosaics, and marble carvings, each telling a story of Venice's history and culture. Welcome to Doge's Palace. Doge's Palace is one of Venice's most famous attractions. Built in the 14th century, Doge's Palace was the official residence of the Doge of Venice, or the city's highest authority. The Doge was elected by the Venetian's nobility and served as the head of the Venetian Republic. As we enter the palace's interior, get ready to appreciate its remarkable architecture and intricate decorations. Each area unveils a part of Venice's vibrant history, from the impressive golden staircase to the detailed council chamber. Every element reflects Venice's past greatness, inviting us to explore its captivating story. One of the palace's famous spots is the Bridge of Sighs. People say it got its name from the size of prisoners as they crossed, knowing that they were going to jail. Walking through these cells, you can feel a deep connection to the past. It's a thought-provoking experience that leads us to wonder, what stories would these walls tell if they could speak? With our suitcases in tow, we're off to the train station, bound for our next stop in Milan. Unfortunately, it's time to bid farewell to the captivating city of Venice after a whirlwind 24 hours. But you know what? Even without a romantic gondola ride, though they did seem tempting, 
This city's charmed us in the most magical way. We managed to fit in so much. We were so amazed by the intricate mosaics of St. Mark's Basilica, felt the weight of history at Doge's Palace, and including a peek into the infamous jail, and wandered through the maze of charming streets and bridges. At every turn, there was a new architectural marvel, a hidden boutique, or a peaceful canal sharing its secrets. But what truly stole our hearts about Venice wasn't just the sights and sounds, but the overall atmosphere. The gentle sounds of water against stone, the blend of languages and conversation, and the warm glow of street lights reflecting on the canals at night. It's a city that whispers tales, inviting you back for more. While a gondola ride may have been the cherry on the top, and trust me, I'm tempted to return just for that, even without it, this trip was unforgettable. There's so much more to explore, hidden squares to stumble upon, and bridges to cross. But even with just a taste, we depart from Venice feeling enriched, inspired, and with a suitcase full of memories that will last a lifetime. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we continue our journey through Italy's rich cultural heritage. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel adventures. And share in the comments below what was your favorite aspect of Venice. And be sure to check out our other Italian city adventures. We'll see you in the next video.